What is going on, beautiful people of the world? My name is Garrett Wolf, and I am the host of the number one podcast for people who are trying to go from saggy flabs to six-pack abs. I've built my body over the last eight years, and in the last three years, I've helped hundreds of online clients shred unwanted fat and embody the best version of themselves. Now, let's jump right into today's show. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Alpha Movement Podcast. This is the number one show for people who are trying to go from saggy flabs to six-pack abs, all without giving up the most enjoyable aspects of their life. In today's episode, I'm going to be giving you guys three things, three action steps that I give, that I deploy to every single client that hops in, that onboards into the Alpha Movement Academy. All right, guys, because I want you to succeed I want you to win. And so if you take these three implementable action steps, you will be able to lose weight, gain muscle, or accomplish any fitness goal that you might see fit for you specifically. All right, guys, today is a great fucking day. All right, I woke up at 7 a.m. I actually woke up at 6. I was going to try to wake up at 6. I'm trying to dial back my morning routine. Um, morning routine. I don't really have a morning routine, really. It's, it takes like 5, 10 minutes to do mine because I don't really like doing a morning routine. I like to hop right into my motherfucking day and get me super excited. So now it's currently 9 a.m., I love getting my work done early in the morning and I kind of, I came up with this new kind of idea, this new kind of idea because this is a little bit off topic. I don't know why I'm kind of jumping into this right now, but recently I've been trying to figure out how to balance my work and my life at the same time because up until this point, um, for the last three years, I've been kind of just work, 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 face to the grindstone. And um, it starts to take its toll on you a little bit when you're just working, 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 you start to have a lot of you know, a lot of burnout. And I know I talk about burnout and breaking through your barriers and working, 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 but it's really like, I think it would be better to live a life where I could potentially stop work by 12, 12 PM, right? The afternoon. So I was thinking, I was like, how can I work, you know, a good seven hour day and still stop working at 12 PM. And I was like, you know, I could wake up at five, 5 a.m. or 4 30 a.m. get to work by five and then I could work for seven hours and then be done with work every single day by 12 p.m. and then I would have my whole day so I've been thinking about that it's kind of interesting I don't know if I'll be able to implement something like that but um you know another way I could go about it is waking up at you know 6 7 a.m. and then working till you know 2 3 p.m. that could be something that would be pretty good and then I'd be done by the afternoon I could have dinner I could still chill with friends I could still do all that And I've been thinking about that. So I don't know. I'm trying to implement this stuff. But um, another thing I'm implementing is I'm putting like a theme for each day. So Monday is like, you know, check in day. I get back to all my clients with a video. I I do the check ins. I look over their um, their weekly check ins, make sure they're making progress, all that. Tuesday could be content creation, you know, Wednesday could be brainstorming, you know, next action steps, Thursday could be education, something like that, you know, creating like a system that I can follow. And so um, I'm trying to implement some of that this week. Um, And I'm just really excited. I'm really amped up. And I'm really humbled because I've been watching a lot of Gary V. And um, I freaking love this guy, Gary V. It's like, you really you want to hate him, you want to be able to hate him. But it's like, He's just so positive. Like it's unreal. He's like, he's like the most humble, positive, successful, rich person ever. Like he literally walks around with a baseball hat on like a shirt from Marshall's. He doesn't give a shit about anyone's opinion because he knows he sucks. He knows everyone else sucks. He posts like 65 pieces of content every day. Like it's it's insane. It's infatuating. Anyway, I woke up today at 6 a.m., but I, I was fucking tired, so I went to bed, and I and I woke up at 7 a.m., and it was pouring rain outside, and see, typically for my morning routine, I'll go outside and hit a nice, like, 8,000-step walk in the morning while I listen to a podcast, but since it was pouring rain, I didn't really want to go out there and get soaked in the morning, so I just, you know, I hopped on my computer, and I got right to work, and honestly, it felt really, really good just to get right to work, and I know this is a little bit of a side conversation, but you know, if you guys are curious about the ins and outs of being an entrepreneur on a day to day basis, I just got right into work, you know, I grabbed my white monster right here, boom, and I got right into work. And so three action steps for me today was to create or or to post all my content, I had like 40 drafts in my uh, camera roll post all of it, I did all that It took me like an hour and a half then make a podcast, which I'm doing right now, it's only 9am and then send my check in videos. And so that's what's going to happen right after this podcast, I should be done by 11. And then I'm kind of free to do whatever I want, I could choose to work on the business more, or I could choose to do whatever I want. And that's a really good feeling. And um, 
so yeah, you know, scheduling out your day just could be something. It could be a cool skill that I might be learning here um, to further my education, further my mindset, and just further myself as a successful entrepreneur. So, well, I don't even know if you would call me a successful entrepreneur yet. I am succeeding in being an entrepreneur, but I'm not really, you know, where I want to be yet. So I will be eventually, though. Super excited about that. And in any case, guys, um, we're going to get into the three keys, the three action steps that I give every single one of my clients when they hop into the Alpha Movement Academy. I don't think I said this yet, so you guys already know the deal. If at any point during this episode you enjoy what I have to say or you take some value from this podcast, please screenshot me. Share it to your Instagram stories, tag me at underscore Garrett Wolf, and I will reshare it to my story, and I will also send you a free gift. Other than that, guys, the first key that I give to every single person who hops into the Alpha Movement Academy is walk 10,000 steps a day. Now, this is more of a key for someone who's trying to lose body fat because that is the target client avatar that I shoot for in the Alpha Movement Academy. If you want to lose body fat, then you do not want to do traditional cardio, right? Traditionally in the fitness industry, they say go for runs. They say even do things like hit cardio. They say go on a bike, right? And pedal on a bike for 45 minutes to an hour. These are all terrible. The reason these are terrible is because they pull from multiple energy system pathways in your body. So they pull energy from not only your fat, but also your water supply, but also your muscle supply. It takes energy from every single system in your body. When you go for walks, rather, literally just straight walks, it's low intensity, steady state cardio. It's only going to use the energy system pathway pulling from your body fat stores. And that is a direct pull from what it is you are trying to lose. So that is body fat, obviously, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to cut some body fat. However, if you're trying to gain muscle, it's still effective because it still pulls fat fr from your fat stores, right? It still pulls fat from your fat stores, though you may not be losing fat if you're not in a calorie deficit. So if you're bulking, you know, you still shouldn't, you know, you still shouldn't not move at all because that's, that's one of the bad things. That's one of the things that has people gaining a shit ton of weight when they go on bulks is they eat a ton of food and then they barely move. They walk like less than 4,000 steps a day. And so if you still continue to walk 10,000 steps a day, not only will it still pull from your fat stores and do a little bit of caloric repartitioning, which is good in either case, but it also doesn't contribute to the hunger response like traditional cardio does. That's another reason you don't want to do traditional cardio, like running on an elliptical, running on a treadmill spinning on a bike for 45 minutes or even doing hit cardio is because that elicits a hunger response. It literally releases ghrelin in your stomach and makes you hungrier. Ghrelin is the, the hunger hormone, the only hormone known to human science that produces the hunger response, the feeling of your stomach gurgling, the feeling of you, you know, craving some foods. And so walking does not elicit this hunger response. Walking does not release ghrelin in your stomach. So despite the fact that you might be bulking or cutting, I still believe 10,000 steps a day is a great place to be for every single person who hops into the Alpha Movement Academy. So that's key number one. All right. Key number two, guys, is drink a gallon of water every single day. Drink a gallon of water every single day. Your body is made of like 90 or 85% water. It's like almost mostly water and you need to hydrate yourself. Let's talk about someone who's trying to lose fat, right? When you're trying to lose fat, not only does water hydrate you, replenish you, but it also keeps you full. It keeps you from eating, from overeating foods. It keeps you from overeating on your diet. And whenever you get hungry, whenever you get a little hunger response and you're trying to go reach for some food, you can just chug a bunch of water instead. And it really does. It eliminates the hunger response. So if you can just chug some water, not only does it hydrate you, not only does it make you feel better, but it'll also eliminate the hunger response. And so it's great for people trying to lose weight, but for people trying to gain weight, it's also amazing because it helps your muscles become puffier. It helps your muscles full. It, it fills them out. It literally... Imagine a cell as like a dry sponge. If a cell is a dry sponge, what happens when you pour water over top that dry sponge? It expands, right? Your muscles are a high percentage of water. They're like, you know, again, 80 to 85% water in your muscles. They hold so much water. And if they're dehydrated, they're going to look smaller. And obviously, if they're dehydrated and smaller, they're not going to have access to as much energy. 
you know, a shriveled up sponge doesn't have access to as much energy as a expanded, hydrated, fully hydrated sponge. So if you're hydrating yourself with water, it is great for people trying to lose weight. And it's also phenomenal for people trying to gain weight because it gives you more access to more ATP. It fills out your muscles, making you look bigger, making you look puffier. And then it helps you lift more weight in the gym by being hydrated, by being mentally stimulated, not to mention the blood flow that it helps bring to the brain. It helps you focus. It helps you lift heavier, quite literally and figuratively, because it helps you get into the mindset of lifting heavier. It helps you remember what it is. It gives blood flow to the brain. So many people think they have like low energy levels or they're they're stupid or they're 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 tired in the morning, but really it's just because you're dehydrated. In fact, the hunger response that you may be feeling in the morning when you typically go to eat breakfast is usually just you being dehydrated. So if you wake up and drink like a half gallon of water right off the gat, you know, maybe not a half gallon, maybe a half a half a gallon, so a fourth a gallon, you know, 32 fluid ounces, that's what I, t I try to do that. It is a little bit difficult. I'm not going to lie. It is difficult to drink 32 fluid ounces right in the morning. But if you split it up into like drink it right when you wake up 16 fluid ounces and then wait a couple hours, drink another 16, you will be hydrated and you won't even be hungry to eat breakfast. It's a crazy nuance that I've found. And so that's why I implement it into every single person that comes into the Alpha Movement Academy. So we have walk 10,000 steps. Despite the fact that your goal might be to gain weight or to lose weight, walk 10,000 steps. Drink a gallon of water. All right, two keys right there that you can use to not only gain weight, but also lose weight. All right, and the third key, guys, that I want to give you, I know it's going to be crazy. This is the nuance right here, is you need a workout plan, man. You need a workout plan. That's what you need. You don't just need to go hit random workouts. See, this is something I struggled with for a long time, is I would just do new random workouts because I was like, oh, I'm the trainer. I can come up with my own workouts. I'm like, it's true to an extent. You can come up with your own workouts, but if you're not on a workout plan, especially when you're bulking, then you don't know what weight you need to hit that next week because you need to focus on progressive overload if you're trying to gain strength. And so if you're trying to gain strength, you're trying to gain size in your muscles, you're trying to fill out your muscles and get stronger, you need to know what weight you hit last week so that you can strive to hit more. You either need to up the reps or you need to up the weight by a little bit. And that's the progressive overload response that's going to produce the continued adaptation in your body. Right. And so let's talk about someone who's cutting. For me, I'm on contest prep right now. I'm six weeks out. And the reason I'm so happy that I get to see the weight that I did last week is so I can focus on not losing too much strength, given I do lose strength. You can't avoid that, especially with how deep of a deficit I'm going into. But I can see the weight that I did last week because I'm tracking it because I have a workout plan. I have a coach. I can track the weight that I did last week and I can make sure that I don't fall too behind that weight because it's really easy, right, to be low energy in the gym, to have a little bit less confidence, a little bit less mental stimulus in the gym and just be like, all right, I'm going to lift kind of light today, right? I'm going to go for a light day and just kind of go through the motions. It would be easy for me to do that. But say, seeing as I'm on a workout plan, right? And I can see the weight that I did last week. It motivates me to not only try to hit that weight, but to not fall too far behind that weight so I can keep as much strength as humanly possible. So whether you're on a cut or whether you're trying to bulk, you should be on a structured workout plan. For a structured workout plan trying to bulk, you should be trying to add a rep or add some weight to that workout plan every single week. For someone who's on a cut like I am right now, you should be trying to, to not lose, to try to hold on to as much strength as you can humanly possibly do. All right, guys, so three keys that I give, I'm giving it to you for free right here. I'm laying it all out on the table because frankly, I don't really give a fuck if you hire me as a coach, right? I probably go through a hundred no's every single day before I get a yes from someone. And I'm just trying to help you. That's one of the, that's one of the crazy things about being an entrepreneur. You get really used to rejection, right? I get fucking rejected all the time, right? Because some people, they just say they don't have the money. Some people don't have the time, right? Everybody's got the money. Everybody's got the time, right? It's just bullshit. It's just excuses, whether they're valid excuses or not. I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to help you out today. So I'm giving you three keys that you can implement for free right now. If you just listen to this podcast and you implement these three keys from this podcast, you will achieve your goal if you stick with it consistently, right? But that's the problem. People, just, they just can't stick with it, right? And then they make up some bullshit excuse that may or may not make sense as to why they can't reach their goal. So if you take these three keys, you at home listening, 
I know you're out there. If you take these three keys and implement them into your weight loss or weight gain journey, you will make progress if you're consistent. All right. Number one, walk 10,000 steps a day. Number two, drink a gallon of water every single day. Number three, be on a structured workout plan and progressive overload if you're bulking or make sure you're holding on to as much strength as possible if you're cutting. If you take this from me for free, this free knowledge and implement it, you will make progress towards your goal. All right, guys, I hope you got some fucking value out of this podcast. I really do because it's 9 a.m. in the morning and I'm making a podcast for you out there. Little Susie, little Sally, little Jeremy sitting at home trying to gain weight, trying to lose some fat, who's been desperate his whole life, who's trying to just get a little bit more confident, who's trying to just change his life finally and finally figure out the key to change his life. This is it. This is it. You're not going to find anything better than this for free. So just implement these things and you will make progress towards your fucking goal. I promise you. All right, guys. If at any point during today's episode, you enjoyed what I had to say, or you take some value from this podcast, screenshot my motherfucking face. Share it to your goddamn Instagram story and tag me at underscore Garrett Wolf and I will reshare that shit to my story and I will also send you a free fucking gift, my brother. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's podcast and I hope you have a fantastic motherfucking rest of your day. I will see you all in the next podcast episode. Peace, peace, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hopefully you got some value. If you did get value and you want to learn a little bit more about how you can go from saggy flabs to six pack abs, just head over to my Instagram at underscore Garrett Wolf. DM me the word six pack and I'll reach out to you and see if I can help. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I will see you all in the next podcast episode. Peace, peace.